So our last video, I forget what everything, oh, it was about the bicycle tires or the stroller tires. And I had showed you the, my abutment or post. I hate the word abutment. Well, today I got my sound processor and I couldn't, I can't do an unboxing because, well, the audiologist already unboxed it. But I can show you what it came with. This is, this is what I got. The Otacon Ponto 3. And, uh, um. That's the color she got. I got mocha brown. See, they list all the colors, and there's the little dot that says mocha brown. Not that you can read that. But it comes with this little case. Pretty sure this didn't come in the box, because if you notice... The box, won't even fit, the box fits in the case. So, pretty sure that didn't come in there. There's my phone. But I'm going to open it and show you what all came with... My sound processor, including my sound processor. However, this case, this little seam thing likes to get stuck. Okay, so first, instructions for use and the batteries. The care, taking care of your Ponto 3 instructions. This is a streamless medical stream, like you can a make phone calls streaming. and stuff. And uh, you hang it around your neck and you can make phone calls and stuff and it goes through the, the sound processor. I'll be unboxing this in a different video because I don't think we have time. We might. I'll check the time when we're closer to being done. This is the warranty. And then these, you can put stickers on your um, processor. processor, which I think is kind of weird myself I want it kind of hidden not that I'm ashamed of not being able to hear but you know it's not something I'd think you'd put on there is the stickers for, especially for the for the cost, cost of the unit I don't want a sticker that's gonna maybe possibly accidentally run Rest something the, <laughs> they're not cheap this is the little white case that the unit comes in I'm not going to put it on because it I have this little clip that you can hardly see the string but it's like a little fishing line. But this is the unit. It snaps onto the abutment or the post. And see, that's where you put the stickers. And uh, I have the battery out of it right now. And the battery, I just store the battery right there. But it's a neat little case. There's a little black piece that goes right here, that long black wing. Yeah, the, the battery, battery that takes the... I'll show you that in a minute, but this is the case. They send you extra batteries. So I've got six extra batteries. And then this um, thing here, it's a, um, when you open the battery door on the thing, on the um, sound processor, this is a magnet that'll hold the battery and you just pull the battery down. So you don't have to like pick at it. Although the battery comes out quite easy, I didn't have to pick it out to take it to take it out. Do we want to put that in the thing now that I figured out? I think what goes in there. Um, not right now. Okay. We'll put it. We'll put it in the thing. We'll put it in the thing later. The, the case. This. Later. Yeah. Well, maybe he'll do it now. And then this velcros to the bottom. This little pouch velcros to the bottom of the case, and this. I don't know if you can see it, but this little tiny round thing is um, an abutment cap. And he's having issues getting the Ziploc open. Mm -hmm. But it, you, this is what you put over the abutment when you go to the hairdresser. And probably what I'll use to cover it when I dye my hair. This, I guess you test the abutment or the sound processor without putting it on. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked thoroughly through the book. I just know that that's what that said. You test it. Make sure the batteries aren't dying, I guess. This is a skin. I can put it over the sound processor if I want. I'm probably not going to because I'm going to get used to hearing it or using it the way without it. And I'm going to pop the air or pull the things are falling down. I'm going to squeeze the air out of it so it fits back in that little handy dandy pouch. 
And then in this bag is another abutment cover. So I've got three abutment covers. And what I should do is take one and put it in a Ziploc thing, a little Ziploc bag, and put it in my purse so I have it for when I go to the hairdresser. This is a mirror. Like a compact, like a woman's makeup compact mirror. Oh look, there's lots of us. Us, 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 us. That's pretty neat. So, um, I'm not, I guess you angle it so you can see. One's a magnifying mirror, which is weird. But I guess you angle it and so you see can, so you can see where the post is. Post is, I guess. Hold it with one hand, clip it on with the other, maybe. Ah, see, look, 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 look there. And like you can, oops, you can see there's the post. Sort of, you can't really see it's lights reflecting off. But I guess that's what you can do with it. I'm not. Or what it's for. I'm not sure, but it was like okay, a magnifying mirror. And then wet wipes to clean around the post. Um, there was also a small Ziploc bag of cotton swabs, Q-tips, whatever you want to call them, and a soft toothbrush looking, toothbrush like thing for cleaning. Those are in the bathroom. Um, I'm probably not going to use the brush because I mean I, I use a, I cut wipes into strips and then kind of floss under the the post, which is what my doctor told me to do. And uh, which sounds to me kind of better than a brush kind of scraping. And then this evening, uh, my he he uh, shaved, not really shaved, but buzz cut about a quarter inch around the post so that hair doesn't get wrapped up in it. And I can get, I have a, like a irritation, the skin's irritated around it, so I have to use um, one antibiotic ointment. And it was just getting on my hair instead of the area, so we did that so to keep it. Clean, a little cleaner. Like a little cleaner and you know the the audiologist recommended doing that so that the hair like when you're putting the abutment on or the sound processor on you can snap your hair into there and it pulls and it's just it's weird but yeah this is I guess we do we might have time it's only seven minutes but this is whoops I just tipped it over this is everything that came with it and it's not cheap I'm gonna check if everything oh, yeah, the, thing moved. Not that it's going to hurt it if it No, it's not. It's in a protected case. But, um, yeah, I, it's it's easier to snap on and off than I thought it would be. And I don't feel it when it's on. The only thing I feel is that little string thing when it hits my neck and it's like fishing line, so it's like really thin. So I keep thinking there's like bugs on my neck. <laughs> it weighs almost nothing, so when you add it to the post, it still looks like having the post there that you're used to. Yeah, which, you know, is really nice. So I guess we have time for this. Um, I'm not going to take everything out because there's some cords in there. I don't know what they're for. This is all the manuals, how to sync it to your phone and everything. As you can see on the box, there's a iPod, iPhone, iPad, and Android. It works with all those. But you, so you can stream the audio from your phone call or your or music, music or the TV, apparently. The, well, I don't know if the TV will do it. It has a TV button. Oh, but this is the unit. This is the unit. This is the thing that hangs around your neck. I'm not going to... There's two cords, actually. There's this one. And then I guess this is a longer one right here. I haven't taken it out yet um, to look at it. But this is the unit. And it just hangs around your neck, like right about there. And there's the phone button. Not that you can see the drawing because it's shiny. But there's a phone button. There's a microphone icon for, I'm assuming, music. And then this is a TV. So you can, um, if you have a smart TV or one that or ones that does Bluetooth, you can stream it to this. Um, our TV doesn't do that, so not that I would try it anyway because I've. Um, I mean, it's nice, it's handy, and I might eventually try using the phone thing for a hands-free thing. But at the same time, I have to wonder why waste battery. I mean, to me, that's kind of a waste of battery. Um, it does recharge, or it does charge, it's rechargeable batteries. This is the AC plug to charge it. It's, it's um, like your MP3 player or whatever, it just recharges. I hope I'm not going too fast through this. This has a bunch of um, random cords. This, I believe, is the cord you plug in to charge it with. With the USB. Yeah. Too. 
And the other ones, I don't know what they do. This is like, I guess this is an audio. An audio in to audio out um, plug, it looks like. Which is handy to have. And then, I don't know what this. A splitter. That goes in the microphone and. Uh, oh. Microphone and uh, speaker side, audio so, side. I I'm going to have to go through the instruction book and see what all these are and what they do. Um, but, you know, it came with. The sound processor all of it did and then this i'm not sure what this is i couldn't figure out how to open the box so i'm going to let him try and figure out how to open the box oh that's a weird way to open the box and i think it might just be a case oh this is a silicone, silicone case. case for it to protect it now that's that's nice to it's handy so there's the little indents for the button 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 so they don't so you have it all yeah let's sealed. open this let's open this up and okay we've got a couple more minutes but yeah i guess the slides all the way in it slides in oops i mean not that we need to slide it in but mm. Well, leave it on. No, leave it off. Leave it off. But, but yeah. it just slides. It'll it, match all the buttons. So well, you're not even in the. There oh, we sorry. go. It'll it'll meet up with all the buttons, and then you know they have. The so hot for the jacks and for the lights and stuff. Because there's a couple jacks there, and then these lights. I don't know how you'd see it with the. Thing, but that's. That's what that is. So yeah, all in all, not bad. Um, it's still pretty spendy but my doctor said can you actually put a price on hearing and, and it does it does work um quite a like um uh i used to when i was in a store whatever i don't notice a difference at all when i'm home which is why i'm not wearing it so why waste the battery if it's not doing you any good um but i went to the mall today with the uh, um him our daughter and my mom and for the first time in like a year and a half or something, or however long it's been since I lost the hearing in this year, they were behind me to my left, and in a crowded building, I could still I could hear them, again. I wouldn't have been able to hear them without the processor, so it does, it does work. Um, you you get more clarity, and you can hear more what's going on around you, which is good. So, and you don't really notice it's there. And the, the hardest part getting used to is having this post in your skull. And when you bump it, touch it, you, I, I feel it, it's over here, but it's in my skull. I feel it right around my eye. It, it's the weirdest on this side, right around this eye. It's the weirdest thing ever. But it's pretty cool. All right, well, I think that's about it. Did you have anything you wanted to say in like 30 seconds or less? Not really. This one's all about that and you. Yeah, they're not this, but um, this. Well, that too, but mostly this. Um, in a couple weeks, I go see the audiologist to see how I like it, see if it needs to be reprogrammed, yada yada. Um, and uh, I will be doing updates about it every so often. Let you know. I've only worn it for. I only wore it for like four hours today, so. Not really a, I can't really say yes, go out and get it, but uh, you know, I mean, whichever. Anyways, um, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you have a, if you have one of these, um, comment down below what you think of it and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.